Hi there, my name is Herman Corbeta and I'm a customer architect for the MuleSoft support team. Today I'm going to show you how to patch a Mule 4 runtime located on prem. The whole idea is for you to be prepared to read exactly what are the requirements you may have, some hard and some soft requirements, some recommendations, some best practices, and later on uh, how to validate that it has been patched correctly. So let's do it. For the agenda, you will see what are the requirements, how to download the files, how to patch, how to validate, and eventually how to patch on a studio. These are the requirements for the Mule for patching. You have two kinds of it, hard requirements and soft requirements. Let's go with the hard one first. You need access to the Mule soft support portal where you have two kinds of downloads, the full patch distribution or the patch to apply to an already installed Mule runtime. So you do need access there. Then you need access to the server because you will be managing files right there. That leads to the third one. You need access to write on the home folder of your Mule for runtime engine. There you will be drag and dropping some files, you will be removing some other files, so you do need access to write on there. Uh, something interesting is that if you are running your runtime uh, as a standalone, not as a service, you also need access to impersonate the user or just the mule user to, to turn on the, the runtime. So, and finally, you do need access to stop and start the whole runtime. So let's now dig into the soft requirements. You need access to the Mule EE log to check every log related to the Mule runtime engine stop and start process. Um, please be sure that you haven't changed the log for shale to the default configuration because eventually if you have changed the default configuration, you might not see the stop and start uh, logs there but by default you should and finally if you have tried on a lower environment and everything succeeded please remember to schedule a maintenance window to eventually uh, turn off or stop the runtime completely well we have finished with the requirements now that you understand this part let's move on with the next one and we'll see everything related to the downloads you will need to go to help.mulesoft.com we will be able to see the patch there, to download the patch from there, and eventually perform an MD5 check. Okay, for this process, you just pick your favorite web browser, you go to help.mulesoft.com, just expand the support section, and get inside the download section. There you will have studio, summations, and runtimes. In this case, we will go to the Mule Runtime tab, and there you will have all the available month monthly patching but we will be using the september 2021 so and you will have two kinds of bad patches the distribution standalone and the patch if you have an available an already working runtime just go with the patch so in this case i have already downloaded the september patch for 430 runtime and we will be doing now the md5 check so you just pick the file you have downloaded previously, check with the MD5 which is the hash, and you just verify that it's the one, the same one that appears on our web page. If that is true, you are good with it. So let's move on. And now let's just open the zip file to be sure that is actually the files that we are looking for. So I will extract the zip file and we will see some libraries so the, 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 the cumulative patch itself and the services updates. Finally, you will have a readme file. I really recommend you to read that because every patch instructions will be there. Regarding the patching process, we will later see a demo, but as a quick summary, we already have an all 430 runtime engine already working, and we will shut it down. We will install the patch we just downloaded, that is the cumulative, included in cumulative patching, the service, and the libraries. And then, eventually, we will turn it on and validate. In the top, you have two folders, the runtime on the right, 
and on the left you have the patch that you have extracted. In the bottom you have two terminals, one to turn the runtime uh, off and on, and the other one to see the actual mule EE log that we talked before. So let's go. First I stop the runtime completely and wait. And I go to the top and I'm gonna be drag and dropping some files, but I really suggest you to read the readme file because you have the instructions there. So let's start with the mule BTM. That is a library in like Jackson, JSON, Maven, or Ramu libraries. They are located in the lib opt folder. So I will uh, drag and drop it. And eventually you will see that there are two versions, the old one and the new one. You just need to download, uh, to delete the previous one. Now let's move with the patches. Inside the lib patches folder, you will need to remove the old one, the old cumulate patch, and put the new one. If you check on the name, it contains the date of the patch. So by looking at it, you know that it's new. And finally, we go with the services. We just drag and drop them all. And you, by reading on the file name, you will see that there are some cases that you have already the last version. So you don't need to update them. You can just delete the jar file. But for the rest of them, you will need to first remove the old version and then extract the new jar file so you end up with folders and since the jar file was actually like temporary you will need also to delete the jar files so the output of the whole, the whole process you just have folders in that folder now that we have finished and the files are right there what you will need to do is start up the runtime engine and be sure by reading on the logs that the runtime started successfully. Before I forget, just don't worry about the service folder name. It could be any name and it will be okay. It will turn on the runtime with that service. Time for the validations. You have two ways to validate, the easy way or the hard way. Usually the easy way is enough, but sometimes you may want like more complex or more advanced uh, validation. So the, the easy one will be to eventually check on the Muli e log and that's all because the Muli e log will show you if the patch has been applied or not. In case you want a more complex method, it will depend entirely on your operating system. For example, we have the LSO web command for Unix based or Linux based systems. And eventually, if you have a Windows environment, you may use Handle64 or any other Microsoft tool to eventually make sure that the patch is actually being loaded in memory. So now let's validate that it's actually working. To validate that, we will be using the Mule EE log that is located on the logs folder of your runtime. That Mule EE log will show the information regarding the runtime, not regarding the, the APIs, but runtime and API deployments, domain deployments, and that's all. So if you scroll down or up, eventually you will see the applied patches and the applied services. And there you will be able to see exactly what we have changed. Also, you may notice that the libraries are not listed and that is expected. The, to be able to actually see if the library has changed, you will be needing to use a more complex solution like LSOF or Handle64, as mentioned before. Congratulations. If you have followed me, your runtime engine is now updated. But you also want your developers to be using the same version in Studio. So in this section, we will see how to update your runtime engine inside AnyPoint Studio you will see how to validate which version you actually have because you might not require the update and in case you do how to proceed with the update here is my studio tool so if i go to about any point studio and click on installation details eventually installation history tab you will see that you have exact version there we know we have the june or july version of 430 runtime and I will go into help, check for updates and download the latest one from there. As you may see, I have several uh, plugins, several packages to update, but 
I had you have the September release right there to download. So I click next and I agree the terms and that's all. In a few moments, Studio will ask you to restart it and you will be using the latest runtime version on your Studio. Thank you very much for watching this video. You have learned today how to be prepared for the patching, the requirements, where to download the files, how to proceed with the runtime patching, the libraries and the services too, how to validate them, and as a bonus track, you have how to patch a runtime within a studio. So I hope that has been useful for you. Thank you very much once again for watching and have a great week. See ya.